We purchased a $10 phone case, a full coverage by the brand Poetic, and this arrived in about, uh, give or take, four days. So, just showing off the box quality here. We are super excited. As you know, I've been ha having troubles with the Pixel 6 Pro, guys. The Pixel 6. Being with this, like opening it, but I haven't really unboxed it yet. So, I don't know even what, know what the contents are of this. Okay, ow. It kind of pokes me. So, this right here. Oh, we dropped something. This right here is a uh, screen protector accessories in a nice package. But this right here is a cover and let's see if it's plastic or not. I assume it's plastic. Oh, it's a very... Hmm. Does it not come with a screen protector? Let's see, let's see. I think it comes with one, it should. <clears throat> oh yes, there it is, there it is. That that is uh for spacing or something. Maybe it doesn't come with one. I have no idea how to open this. The separate separating front casing from rear case. Well, the first peel off is like a new phone. <sighs> okay, we actually have to watch an instructional video because <laughs> I'm putting this back on. Uh, there's a QR code we can scan here. I, I, I actually have no idea what I'm doing here, so let's watch that first. <sighs> here, Thankfully we didn't mess up that hard and we actually have to take off that plastic protecting thing first. Oh, it came with a pamphlet, guys. Let's see. Okay. okay. Open the divot. Okay, we ran into a little hiccup here. This video is for the S21. Let's see if they have like a video for the 6 Pro on their channel. Okay, they have 200 videos. Okay, so this right here, I just want to read. It says, screen protector or not, you decide. Extra front frame included to go bare or any third-party screen protector of your choice. See, I see. This uh, one right here. I mean, okay, we have a, a new... Uh, let, let's scan this QR code, because we have a different QR code. Because this one's talk. This pamphlet they gave us actually mentions, like, the fingerprint ID, which is something I don't think Samsung even has. Scanning. Oh, we do have a new video. video the Just to the their uh, Galaxy uh, A71 5G, which is not exactly what we're looking for here. Okay, bear with me, guys. We're just watching this. Ah, okay. Plastic film first. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if this video even helps me, but I do actually like it. So let, let's actually watch this full thing. Cause let, let's watch watch the full thing here. Cause like. I'm taking out that plastic. Like, there's so many set different accessories here. <sighs> like, I. Hello, everyone. This is. Gosh, this is already giving me a headache. It's so hard with Pixel devices. Gosh, this is already giving me a headache. It's so hard with Pixel devices. This part is confusing me because I never had it with screen protectors, guys. It's just like, it's like it's so it's like it's a. Uh, I don't know if I should peel this off or. I'm trying to separate it, but it's like super glued on or something. Oh, I do see some sort of adhesive. I knew there was something fragile there. I knew that, you know, thankfully, that, that, that preliminary plastic that we peeled off is not that needed, I think. Okay, there seems to be this styrofoam thing that seems to be needed to be removed. As now, the next instructions are to remo remove both sides of a... a uh, the, uh, the plastic that is covering both sides of this, guys. So, um, they put some effort into this. I really like this. Uh, the, the, the consensus on Reddit was, uh, this one, dome glass, but those go for $47. But that comes with a UV curing light, like all these different attachments and everything. Well, it only comes with a UV curing light if you get a two pack. Say goodbye to our old 
uh, screen protector we bought like months ago and it has a stain on it from like my finger like skin cells or whatever uh, the nice sort of sunny pixel 6 pro okay so here's the actual back frame itself it does come with a kickstand um, that actually has instructions for so let's see how pull open long groove in the middle of the kickstand there we go okay okay Press on the Poetic P logo on the stand until you hear a click. I'm not sure which side, but... Oh, I, okay, it was on the other side. Press and lift up the P logo to piece to replace the stand. Oh my gosh. I don't want to break this. Uh, press and lift. Oh, okay, okay. To retract the stand, rather. <clears throat> Slice up to close all the way. Or slide up to close all the way and press the middle part until you hear, hear a click, which uh, we did do. So, okay, let now. Okay, this came in a three-piece set, so let's let's just uh, put it on the phone here, guys. I mean, it's not exactly a, a fit here, so we're gonna have to do some more research here. <clears throat> this must be the back plate heart part here, guys. But, but it's like full coverage, guys. Look, look. I thought I'd press record, but check it out, check it out. This is full coverage for the phone. This is amazing. I'm just nervous about taking the this part out of the plastic, but we're gonna do that right now. Come on, come on. Ugh, it's so difficult. I don't really don't want to mess up the internals here. Oh, I could just. Well, I didn't want to. I don't want to take it out that way, but eh, I do like having my plastic intact. <clears throat> Try not to rip that off violently, but into this like middle piece, I get. I guess you could say because it's not the back plate. Uh, now it doesn't exactly fit into the back plate, so I'm actually going to take this off because I have no idea what this. Well, it, it just fits perfectly though, so I'm going to leave it on. This actually could be used for like drop protection on the corners of the phone, guys. Uh, let, let, let's see what we have to do here, guys, because I'm still kind of confused. Uh, let's just open up this screen protector pack. I've been nervous about op opening that. It does actually have a recycle symbol on it. Oh, I dropped it. OMG, I just took out a bunch of parts. I'm actually going to wash my hands before we... Uh, do this installation here guys and I have an air purifier going in case there's like dust or something guys I do not want to get dust but if I get like a few hair particles or something it's fine now they say to like have it run it in like your phone in like the steaming hot shower to get all the particles out uh, and I, I just want to get this installation done with guys okay there's like a sticker pack I have no idea what this is it comes with an alcohol prep pad <clears throat> this thing to press down the bubbles and this microfiber cloth cloth so that is awesome okay shout out that video by uh b tech reviews guys omg so basically you do put that plastic part and as and then followed by the case and you could just use this as a standalone case as well as like a you know kind of like somewhat side of the phone screen protector now the pixel 6 pro does come come kind of bezeled which as well as their uh, gorilla glass i believe so that does provide good drop protection but after me breaking that pixel 4 i do not want to get another crack on my screen especially this freaking 180 dollar device that i bought used i know i'm stalling now we have the scary part which is actually applying the screen protector now it's not a tempered glass one so I, I, I think there's still gonna be the adhesive surely right so there, there's just so there's uh, there's extra steps here because of the fingerprint reader and we just really want to hope it's responsive here guys so without further ado let's get cleaning it with my shirt first here I sure hope a ton of like fabric doesn't end up on the screen protector. Don't necessarily say to even put the alcohol prep pad. So, uh, 
We're, we're actually just gonna do it for disinfectant purposes. So, let me just unwrap this and we'll just give it a quick wipe. Flip it over. I'm actually going to wash my hands first. Okay, I'm gonna give it a fresh wipe with a, a part of the microfiber cloth that was not originally hit with it. Now, let, well, the alcohol prep pad, rather. Now, let's hit it with the other microfiber cloth. There we go. There we go. Oh, there's a spot there. A stain. So, it looks clean enough for me. One of the scariest parts for me, believe it or not, we're actually going to remove both the plastics off this. That's the first part. Uh, now, I'm trying to find out where the second part is. Is there even a part on this on the front? I, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. They said there was, but there might not be. I don't think there is. Inside and everything, so... Uh, peel off the fingerprint stamp before applying it, so let's do that. If I can find it. Okay. Where there's a plastic on the front though. Okay. Now what do we do next? Avoid any dust snap onto frame on a phone. Press onto fingerprint. Okay. Relatively straightforward. Um you know, I'm going to You know, I think we have to take it out of this case first. I was having to put that on first. That's why I was kind of iffy about putting that on, but hey, it, we did it for the video. Okay, we went ahead and finally attached the screen protector. This is so, it feels so awesome for me right now because of that. I don't need this other back piece. It's like a replacement, a, a spare part. Guys, we have did it. Full coverage on our phone. No way. It doesn't even seem like we have full coverage, but we do. That's amazing. And it feels glass, but this is a plastic screen protector. So let's see how, how well the fingerprint sensor does work here, guys. As you can see, it is completely locked. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, we didn't even need to recalibrate it. This is actually amazing. It's like a, it's like there's a, there's a, I didn't even apply it perfectly, guys. It works, this works amazing, guys. So, hey, shout out Poetic. We now have a heavy duty phone. Now, my only gripe with this is that it's not a glass screen protector. But you know how much glass screen protectors compared to a plastic one goes for. Now, personally, I'm all for this. I'm all for this over a glass screen protector. <clears throat> because I just can't get the glass sc screen protectors on. But hey, maybe one day we can try that other screen protector that we uh, mentioned earlier in this video but thank you so much for watching guys now a little bit more about this case we do have a look it's like it's like the otter box so we do have like full coverage here very 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 similar to an otter box and yeah I just it doesn't even feel like there's that screen protector on but there is actually a full coverage screen protector which is something that I, I've been struggling and worrying about for months and months you know we we, we kinda gave up for months and we just went uh, without the screen protector this whole time and I have actually dropped it a few times and if you don't know I do have tile floors so there's a chance that that actually breaks that, that my phone would actually break here so there's actually no bubbles so there's no <laughs> no point for this uh, installation thingy here and uh, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Squad, please consider pressing that join button. Well, actually, I do want to go back and say there is a bubble. Because, like, there's, like, a double layered screen protector on, like, the, the most of the phone. And then there's, like, the part where the fingerprint reader is, like, a single layer of screen protector. That way it could be more sensitive. Uh, and where that screen... Where... where I mean, we're actually going to recalibrate this fingerprint because I remember it being a lot more responsive. 
and uh, yeah, I mean, <coughs> yeah. So let's actually do that before we end here. Okay, we actually pressed out all the bubbles, believe it or not, using this thing. But we're just uh, you know, making sure the screen protector is fully on the phone here before we actually go ahead and do our fingerprint. As far as initial review, responsiveness is not the best here, guys. Well, here I'll let you guys decide. There is like a clicky feeling, but it's, it's actually very good, very fast, very responsive. I just feel like there's some sort of latency here. Now, is that, is that with all screen protectors? Probably. And so, so me as somebody that occasionally does mobile gaming, but not really recently, I kind of need that responsiveness. Now, I do have a Pixel 4 here with a glass screen protector, and it's super responsive. That's why I prefer glass screen, screen protectors, but you get what you pay for here. And, uh, honestly, I really like this. I, I'm not going to actually drop it, but there's a little, there's like inward bezels. That maybe helped get, like on the side of the phone, they actually added inward bezels. I think that actually probably helps with the whole design, making this whole thing like a full coverage. <laughs> stuff like under the screen I really don't see anything like so that was an awesome installation gate through settings like the past five minutes trying to figure out how to get fingerprint because there's no uh, like subsection that actually mentions where your fingerprint even is on this device okay let's add a new fingerprint I only had one fingerprint on this device so let's see how long it takes here I'll change the position lift and touch again lift and touch again place the finger on the tip it's very similar to if you ever had an Apple device oh right edge right edge <laughs> I'm not even following it properly and it's it's okay okay so let's see if it works it was just a quick fingerprint it wasn't the most accurate I was just pr pressing the finger down enter your pin it does work however whenever I said it I think it had like more of a memory or something because that's BS unlocking a lot quicker before